When we read history, we come to know that from the 8th to the 12th century, it was known as the Dark Ages. Dark Ages for the Europeans, not for the world. The amount of advances in science and technology the Muslims did at that time, it was phenomenal. But because the Europeans were not advanced, they called it the Dark Ages. But the amount of invention and advancement the Arabs and the Muslims did between the 8th to the 12th century is phenomenal. We know when we go to school, we learn in school that the blood circulation was first propounded by William Harvey. By William Harvey. That's about a thousand years before, or about 800 years before. But if we read history, we come to know that Ibn Nafis, the Muslim scientist, he spoke about birth circulation 400 years before William Harvey, and 600 years after the Quran was revealed. And he got the information from the Quran. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 66, Verily in the cattle is the lesson for you. We give you to drink from what is within the body. Milk which is pure, coming from between the contents of the intestine and excreta. Milk which is pure for you to drink. We know by science today that what we eat goes into the stomach. From the stomach, while the bloodstream goes into the various organs of the body, the nutrients, including the mammary glands, which are responsible for the production of milk. So this thing, what science has come to know today, is already mentioned in a nutshell in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 66, 14 years ago. But in our textbooks, science textbooks, we learn about William Harvey, but we don't learn about Ibn Nafis.